as per our sources, the Congress is closing in on naming Siddharamaiah for the role of Karnataka's Chief Minister because he has the support of most MLAs and the task is now to bring DK Shivkumar on board and pacify him. DK Shivkumar just wrapped up a meeting at 10 Janpath Road with Rahul Gandhi. That meeting lasted over an hour. We've got uh, my colleague Sunil Prabhu joining us live from 10 Janpath Road at the moment. Sunil, now DK Shivkumar refused to back down in yesterday's meeting. Does he seem willing to accept the post of Sidhya's deputy by any chance? Do we have any clarity after this meeting that just wrapped up with Rahul Gandhi? As of now, no. There has been uh, no uh, breakthrough. Mr. D.K. Shivkumar still continues to be uh, very determined to uh, remain and uh, vie for the lobby for the topmost uh, job as his chief minister. He believes this victory is uh, partly because of his hard work that he has uh, done as the PCC president. Uh, and it's in that context uh, that he continues uh, to make that uh, position absolutely clear to the Congress leadership. Uh, uh, while we have said that the overwhelming majority is in favour of uh, Mr. Siddharamiya, uh, there is uh, definitely uh, a clear sign uh, that uh, Mr. D.K. Shivkumar uh, is uh, not ready uh, to relent at this present juncture. So uh, the position remains the same. Uh, we'll have to wait and see uh, whether there has been uh, some kind of softening of Mr. D.K. Shivkumar. Uh, after all, uh, he has been saying that he will uh, go. The party uh, is like a mother. Uh, he has He's in gratitude uh, and he should be rewarded. Uh, so uh, whether he relents or not is a big question mark. But that is something uh, that uh, he is uh, determined at this present juncture uh, to continue. Uh, and demand uh, for that post of Chief Minister. Right. Also, Sunil, you had mentioned earlier throughout your reportage that he will be making, the Congress High Command will be making the final decision and announcing it only in Karnataka? That's right. That uh, remains the position. Uh, decision, of course, here, you know, uh, you must understand, it's just not about the Chief Minister and the Deputy Chief Minister. They're the Lingayats who have to be uh, represented. There are the Dalits. In the Dalits, there are two types of uh, Dalits, the right and the left. Uh, then, uh, uh, then, of course, Mr. D.K. Shivkumar is a Vokiliga. There are Christians to be uh, looked into. There are Muslims uh, who have to be accommodated. And uh, then, of course, various regions of Karnataka so that the representation is there. Uh, these are very critical factors uh, which have to be taken into account uh, when you do the cabinet formation. So all those uh, details will have to be worked out. Uh, Mr. Siddharamai, of course, uh, is, as I said, uh, got that overwhelming majority, uh, but ultimately uh, it is uh, going to be uh, down to Mr. D.K. Shivkumar uh, relenting or not. He, as, of, as, of, uh, uh, the, uh, as of now, I can say, uh, there hasn't been any softening on Mr. D.K. Shivkumar's position. Uh, right. He's still demanding the topmost post. Sunil, thank you so much for joining us with the latest update after DK Shivkumar has wrapped up that meeting at 10 Janpath Road with Rahul Gandhi. We've also got my colleagues Srija and Pratibha joining us live at the moment. Srija joins us live from Siddharamaya's house, while Pratibha is currently joining us live from DK Shivkumar's residence. Let's go across to Srija first. Srija, after firm backing of powerful and senior Congress MLAs and loyalists, Siddharamaya is likely to be the new Chief Minister of Karnataka. We are hearing the celebrations where you are. Well, whether or not uh, the High Command has uh, announced officially who the next Chief Minister of Karnataka is, you already have several posters that have been put up by uh, loyalist supporters of Mr. Uh, Siddharamaya. In fact, if you're really reading what's mentioned on those posters, it does read Karnataka's Chief Minister, Mr. Siddharamaya. So they have already, the people over here have already announced the next Chief Minister of the state is Mr. Siddharamaya. And uh, you have quite a lot of... Uh, gathering right here outside his residence. We went on to see they were bursting crackers, uh, in fact, distributing sweets, and also some of them, in fact, are offering uh, milk, especially to the posters of Mr. Siddharamaya. So the celebrations have all begun right outside uh, Siddharamaya's residence. But really not much of a drama is what we understand outside uh, DK Shivkumar's residence. Uh, but as far as uh, uh, Siddharamaya is concerned, you know, from the start, especially when the secret ballot was uh, uh, carried out, you 
know, from then on, several sources within the Congress continue to maintain how Mr. Sidramaya had an edge over uh, DK Shiv Kumar. So we see that even now, even as we speak, that Mr. DK Shiv Kumar is trying to put up a very, very strong fight. Of course, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, convincing to do uh, by the party high command uh, to Mr. DK Shiv Kumar because as far as DK Shiv Kumar is concerned, he's always been an all weather man for the Congress, a go to person when Congress is in crisis. But right now, you really have a crisis on hand, uh, you know, for the uh, party high command because one, of course, they have to try hard, uh, too hard to convince uh, Mr. DK Shiv Kumar. On the other hand, you already have um, Mr. Sidharabai, who has been an able administrator, a uh, chief minister once before, uh, back in 2013, but however, uh, failed in fact uh, to bring or ensure victory or great numbers uh, to Congress when the uh, state went to polls back in 2018. Also, in fact, leading eventually to the coalition between the Congress and the JDS, eventually being toppled by the BJP uh, in 2019. So a lot of, you know, uh, things riding as far as, uh, you know, Sidrama is concerned. One, of course, he has been an able administrator. So to also talk to you about what's happening outside his residence, now you have several of the uh, supporters shouting slogans in support of Mr. Uh, uh, Sidramaya. Yes, the official announcement has not been made, but there's already celebrations outside his house right now as we speak. And uh, in fact, uh, more importantly, Sidramaya has been a chief minister once before, like I did point out. But however, uh, you know, one right after when uh, the BJP government toppled the coalition in 2019 coming to power, we went on to see that there was, uh, you know, the Congress party was absolutely directionalist. And that is when we went on to see several of the top leaders, in fact, stepping down from their positions, including Mr. Uh, Dinesh Gundurao, who was back then the KPCC president. So that was the time when Mr. D.K. Shiv Kumar, back in 2020, he took over the reins as the uh, president, uh, KPCC president here. So he pulled the party from the scratch. He strengthened the party from the scratch. So those were the you know plus which he tried to bring that out uh, before the party high command, saying that I have helped the party during crisis time. They, uh, you know, the Congress high command or Congress for that matter have always reached out to him when the party was in crisis. So why shouldn't the party high command be giving him that position? But for now, things are very, very clear because as far as sources are concerned, since official confirmation is not coming from, uh, you know, the party high command because they have yet to make announcement, an official announcement. We are already looking at celebrations, uh, slogans in support of Mr. Sidharame as the next chief minister of Karnataka. So already we are looking at uh, various, uh, you know, arrangements that are being made at Kantirwa Stadium already that's underway because tomorrow is what we understand that the Karnataka will get a new chief minister of the state. Back to studio.